The Department of Justice is performing what it says is its largest ever crackdown on elder fraud. The cases involve more than 260 defendants from around the world accused of taking advantage of more than 2 million Americans and most of them elderly. Yeah, helping in this effort is the Secret Service. Our Garrett Berger talked with the local special agent in charge about what they're seeing and how you can avoid it. Older folks falling victim to scammers. So it's email, texts, and, and a lot of times they're just not really familiar or comfortable uh, with these technological advances. From fake online sales posts to phishing emails with fraudulent links, there are a variety of cyber-related schemes that typically take advantage of elderly people. But the special agent in charge of the Secret Service's San Antonio office says romance scams through dating sites are a common one they see here. They'll develop a relationship with who they think is, you know, someone that they're comfortable with. Once that turns into that person needing help, financial help, whatever the story may be, and there's tons of different stories, um, you know, just to be very suspicious. The Secret Service tries to get victims' money back to them. It says since 2017, its asset forfeiture unit here in San Antonio has opened 66 seizure investigations and seized more than $3.2 million worth of assets. And the field office has been able to return about 95% of seized assets to victims. It's a great feeling uh, for those families to see that, uh, you know, sometimes that their, their parents or grandparents um, are not going to be left without any type of resources. But not all the money comes back. So the best piece of advice is to try to avoid the scam in the first place. So be wary, especially of anybody putting pressure on you or telling you to move money quickly. Ask for help and, 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 and maybe your, your family and friends say, hey, take a look at this. Does this make sense? Um, and that could uh, potentially at least raise some red flags to say, oh, let me do some, some further verification. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.